Hello everyone, welcome back on Instagram channel, guys. I'm Ramke Singh, Unity game developer, YouTuber, and blogger. This is the second part of Unity VR multiplayer using the Dawn Fusion 2 plus Ready Player Me. You can use any author, so there is no any barrier. So if you're new on the channel, make sure to subscribe the channel. If you want to support me, so you can just find the channel also. You can become the Patreon to join and also you can buy my any sample. So after this series, I will provide also sample here so that anyone can get very easily and get start their project. If you want to check out me on LinkedIn, so you can just check out me here. So let's start the today video. In last part, what we did, we just created player setup script. So just open this script and here we need network behavior, not mono behavior. Now it should work. So here we have the network behavior. Great. So what we want, so there is one method, basically we want to call one method that will set up our player and when we want to set up, basically what will happen that this player, so basically this player will be instantiated. So what we want to know, we want to know that this player have been instantiated, if it is yes, so at that time we want to call one method, so that thing we have to use so, so here we need one public method will be your callback so public override turn and then we will use spawn so basically if you want to do anything so you have to not use awake or start basically it will call whenever your player will be instantiated okay great what we need we have to set up our player we have to check first which one is local player and which one is remote player so obj dot has input authority okay so in host and client every player will have the input authority but state authority will be to the host player so here is it is the local player you can call local player and this is for this is for remote player okay great we have to decide what we want to do first i want to change the name game object dot name i can say this is my local player remote player now we have to decide which thing we want to turn on which thing we want to turn off so you can just use serialize field field and here we will use you can see also it is a game object so use game object and you can call it xr so basically whenever you are going to play a multiplayer so in a single scene there will be one single xr rig so what we can do we can do it will be on because i'm doing through the code because maybe we miss anything and if it is remote so we have to turn off so just do the turn off thing so here we, you can see that we are doing xr rig false let me check that we have to do anything further so here we are going on the player here we can see this is the rpm thing this is the action so event manager and here is the xr origin basically we have to turn off this one okay great there is nothing we'll see in the future if there will be anything so everything whatever we are going to do we have to do everything here related to player setup like we want to turn off turn on so everything will be here if you want to perform the id thing so you can also perform the this thing here okay great if i have attached my script on the player so you can see we are getting xr origin so just tag and drop so now it will work there basically we have done the basic setup on the player we will do, do much more thing but now it's time to create another very important script before that let's create one more script that is the rpm vr demo we are going to create one scene that will be our game area so this will be our game area just open this script and here we have to create one demo object the name will be player powner okay okay great now we have to create one script so photon future we have added here so create same script that will be player is powner and it is not really necessary that this name match with this just type giving the name so that we know that what we are doing so attach this script basically this will help us to instantiate our player so just open this script and here we have to our code to instantiate there will be lots of callback so there are two way to perform this is player spawner but currently i am going to do a very simplest that is the i network runner callback so i network runner callbacks so just do it and whenever you are going to implement i network runner callbacks so it will implement lots of callback in the pun 2 if you have worked so there are lots of callback like player join player left so similarly if you have follow my earlier tutorials so we will get all the things implementation of this callback so what we have to do so i have to go on here and uh, here it is host mode so basically we need all these callbacks 
so just copy from here i don't know why it is not working because in my previous tutorials it was working so maybe some awkward reason so basically we got all the method and here you can see error have been gone so you have to go on the setting up scene and here you will get this script it is also a basic spawner last tutorial we did same thing but that was creating directly but it is not so you can just copy from here and paste here to start the game we have to write some code we will use this method also but first we need to start our game if you have followed my last tutorial so i was saying that the runner is hard so basically you have to add private runner so you can just use network runner now we need one more thing that will require our player prefab so that will be network prefab reference so you can use realize field and then we will use i have already this script but i have to write the code because if someone is following first time so i have to make sure that so we have to use network work fab reference so here is network player prefab reference this will be our player so you can use player tab so this will be our player well where we will pass the reference okay great now we need one dictionary that will be help us to just identify that which player have been instantiated what we have to do to manage this dictionary so we can use dictionary and here it will ask for key and value so for the key we are using player reference and for the value we will use network object basically you know all the network thing is network object so use network object so here we have network object and here we can give the name that is the spawn characters so you can say spawn characters initialize same thing new dictionary and here is the semicolon one dictionary whenever we will instantiate or whenever anything will be instantiate and it really not matter that it is a player it should be your bullet it should be your enemy it can be anything so you have to be sure that the thing so now we have to create a method that will start our game okay in network runner we need one method that is the start game so basically here we will write the code so just use private and we will use a sync and then void and we can use start game and it will ask a parameter the name will be game mode so you can use game mode okay great network runner in my previous tutorial what i was doing i was just adding at a runtime but now i am trying to get this game object and dot get component and there is a special reason because photon voice asks that it should be already added because it is help us to initialize the ton voice we will talk in the future so currently i am getting this because in earlier tutorial i was adding at a runtime so this is the reason if you, someone is following from my previous tutorial so here we need network runner and if we get the network runner so if we want to transfer any network input we will use network provide input and it should be true otherwise there will be no any transaction of the data okay great and here we will use await and that will be initialize network runner so we will use initialize network runner so this is also a method and here we will pass game mode everyone is able to see so here will be game mode so this will be a method so you can click here and it will be generate one method make sure you just remove this one because sometimes create problem to run your application so we can use where that will be seen scene reference so in scene reference we will get from index index and we can use directly index we want to use current scene you if you want to use another scene so you can also do in manager so here is scene manager so here we have scene manager and from scene manager we will get active scene so get active scene and get active scene we will add the build index the build index we have to just create one mode await so that we can create the room so use wait basically it will perform your task until will not move further until it is performing the task so you can use network runner and then there will be one method basically it is initializing the game here you can just do this thing 
in this parameter we have to perform all the things so here we can do start arguments so it will be in curly braces and this will be uh, this sign new keyboard few parameter that is the game mode so use game mode uh, thing that we are getting in input so we'll see how if you are following following my from last session so you are aware about it and this is the session name so basically this is the name of your room so you can use my room and then we need we can pass so many parameter means custom parameter like number of the player in the room so it's depend on that property you can check out the photon photon documentation basically here you can perform all the property related to room so there are so many kind of uh, property like uh, property means related to room like you can define the number of the room number of the players and name of the session so so many thing you are you can define you can also define the scene name so we have defined the session name and here you can see in the scene what we need here is scene and in scene we want to pass this scene just we grab here and another thing we need scene manager so here is scene manager and we have the game object so use game object and here we have to add component so add component and here it will be not the scene manager a uh, network scene manager default so it will be scene manager network scene manager default so we have to use this one. so now we are almost set up to start our application these are the two uh, method you can say one method but derived from two basically in the start we are just in our network runner basically network runner is heart of fusion 2 and here we are just owning the input thing and for initializing here we are passing game mode so in game mode basically here we are creating the room and in room we are we are passing the what we can pass in the means it is depend on us that what room property we want to pass you can pass the number of player also so if you are going here so here you can see there are so many stuff like game arguments like what are the property game mode session name session name generator address custom public address object provider scene manager so there are so many stuff like updater object initializer player count okay so there are so many stuff you have to do but it is not required for us now if you are want to perform a custom uh, room so at that time we have to write that much code so for the for, for the basic setup it is the okay okay in next part what we'll learn we'll learn that how we can instantiate our player and then we'll set up the flow so that we can use this script so hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you next video bye bye take care don't forget to like subscribe and share